she was looking at me a certain way and started unzipping my jumpsuit. <laughs> Things get pretty steamy. <laughs> <gasps> Things get I pretty steamy in there. The and I re-emerged from the toilet with her red lipstick around my mouth. <gasps> you know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best of you. Oh. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Question. Tell who, me what you think about me. Who who decided that there'd be seven days in a week? Because really, time just goes on and on and on. How, who decided that? And also, who decided time? Well, it was it was the way the sun moves, yeah. right? That was time. That and then was did that? Uh, but how did they decide to number? You know, number it. Put the numbers there. And so also, much to clocks learn. going forward, clocks going back. So much to learn. Why? So who time. decided on this day? The clocks are going to go forward. Because of where the sun is. Yeah, where the sun's moved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daylight savings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 what's the Sabrina lyric? So something about daylight savings? Daylight savings. Oh, S skinny S dipping, skinny. is it? Is it skinny dipping? Daylight savings. Mm, there's something about that. That's... Mm. that's Because like, it's Wednesday, but... But says who? Who says who? Says us. Says us. Mm. Yeah. So Absolutely. welcome back, Chintzia's Barbiana's back today. Barbiana's back. Looking truly polished um, and beautiful. Hair, uh, at hair by Mark Hayhurst. Oh, absolutely. It's been in the building this morning. Mark Hayhurst. It was a lovely treat this morning. It was a lovely experience. Hair and to leave with a fresh, um, Style straightened bob. bob and, and, and a This will last you the week. A coiffed fringe mm. that's been placed just immaculately perfectly. thank you mm -hmm. there's nothing quite like it there's not honestly thank you we've got our slippers on still absolutely still in our slipper era our pink henry hoover has arrived our hetty our hetty love her so we're That's happy nice girls in our studio name, hey? today hetty yeah because we know there's hattie but hattie. i've never met a ha hetty. hetty have you no no, I but it sounds like a cute, like you know, Etty. like Otty. Yeah, it's like a cute. Uh, that's a cute name. Etty. Add it to the list. Etty. So yeah, get it on the notes app. Hetty Turbo, Etty. Happy Turbo Cleaning Power. Bonus but then extra. is it like our uh, Hetty the Hoover? Yeah, probably. Yeah. But then Henry, because no. you never want to give children at school a reason to bully your child. <clears throat> Sorry, couldn't have said it better myself. You know, so if she resembled the Hetty Hoover in any res cyber it's way, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. <laughs> She's going to be our Mrs. Hetty Turbo fucking Hoover. Yeah. Hattie. Where's it's Henry? <laughs> Classic. It's not going to be oh, good. Why don't you? Why don't you? Uh, yeah. Clean that up, Hetty. Yeah. No, mm. awful, awful. So yeah, let's avoid that at all costs then. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We've got a great question of the week this week. We have, yeah, it's Girl Talk. Welcome back, welcome back to the show. Let's just get straight on to with the it. No show. point dilly-dallying, hey? Uh, let's what we're all here get for. it. Okay, so our question of the week this week. A week. Oh, sorry, I didn't sing. Question of the, the week. Is, you. I've never had this kind of vibe before, but I'm very intrigued This is to a nice vibe. Tell us the silliest thing you believed as a child. The first thing that comes to my ha brain is what was our, um, what was that dinner lady called who then got fired? Primary school? Primary school, older. Yes. Lolligan. Mrs. Moore, she was so scary. Was it Lolligan? Mrs. Maloligan. Maloligan. <laughs> Maloligan or something like that. Maloligan, I don't think. I, I think, think it was Lolligan. Mrs. Lolligan. Mrs. I thought Lolligan. It was Mrs. Maloligan. <laughs> she, she was so fucking scary. <laughs> no, but she would go, eat the twisters, it makes your hair curly. That was what I believe. But I thought, what? Oh, what? Fucking girly hair. Twisters, like, what? The twisters, tw what? Turkey Twizzlers. Turkey Twizzlers? Oh, I didn't know. The Jamie Oliver then banned. Oh. Remember the Turkey Twizzlers? No, I don't remember those. What? Maybe you were Made getting your, your hair curly. Look. Yeah, because they were tur they were Twizzlers, Turkey Twizzlers, look. My craziest thing that I believed yeah. as a child, this was a ruse that my family were. Yeah, look, Turkey Twizzlers banned. <laughs> These, they were like twizzle, twizzlers of turkey. Oh, wow. And you, well, you did have curly hair. Yeah, they go, these will make your hair curly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you up? These will make your hair curly. <laughs> Not fucking eating them. I fucking already, yeah, look at them. That's what they look like, guys. Wow. <laughs> <They're horrible. laughs> 
Turkey Crab Twizzlers. Turkey Twizzlers, please. Oh, oh, that does look good, actually. Does Use that look yummy? Curly. Are they soft? Is it like a crisp? It's a feel I can't remember. I just, it just Is meat. it a sausage? Just looks Turkey like me. It looks like something that come out of your bum, bum hole. He's <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. It's like ringworm. <laughs> Oh look, there's the child with the turkey twizzler stock image. Oh, she's got straight hair. That's a that's a boy. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, then Jamie Oliver got them banned. So that was what I believe. God, turkey twizzlers. Yeah. My thing was um child friendly vegetables. Go on then. So we would go to my granny's house and she would give us <laughs> vegetables and me and my brother would be like, oh no, we're not eating these. And she'd be like, oh no, no, no. These are child-friendly ones. I found them especially at the supermarket. That's funny. Child-friendly vegetables. That's and good. obviously like, I'm not thinking granny. My own grandmother's lying course, to me. Of course So we not. would eat them and we'd be like, oh, these, these taste better. But <laughs> and we like fully believed Added sugars. for years and years and years that, <laughs> they, that they tasted better and they were child-friendly vegetables. And then we'd be at wow. mum's and then she She'd be like, eat these vegetables. And we're like, they're not the child-friendly ones. There we then go. Only granny's got, only granny seemed to have these mm -hmm. child-friendly mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. And then we never thought anything of it. And then honestly, it wasn't till we were about mm. into the teens mm -hmm. that it dawned on us that that was a scam mm. and that was it's a lie. It's massive manipulation from Margot. Margot, the master manipulator. <laughs> the child manipulator. Well, she just said it with such confidence. Yeah, of course. I was like, how did you think mm -hmm. of that? Mm -hmm. It was with such like, oh, uh, no, don't worry, actually. Mm -hmm. I found these in the mm -hmm. supermarket. Mm -hmm. These are child friendly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we ate them. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a good one, man. Right, anyway, so what okay. have you guys said? Silliest things you believed as a I child. I hope someone else says turkey twizzlers and the curly hair. And I hope other people have got child friendly vegetables. Oh yeah, this one was me too. Whoa. I got told this. It's illegal to turn the light on inside the car. Oh, turn off the light. <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> that my mum's boobs were real. I looked out of the jeans. Funny. <gasps> Used to pick my eyelashes. Mum told me they would never grow back. Believed it till I was twelve. No, that's a, that's a good. Yeah, that was that's a good one. The restaurants only sold water to children, not busy <laughs> drinks. <laughs> <laughs> classic um mm. oh yeah this was a classic actually i actually yeah. never heard of this but i've heard people say this mm -hmm. um the ice cream man if the chime was going if his like ring yeah. was going that meant he was out of ice cream <laughs> 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 that mean he'd all run out <laughs> run out for the day <laughs> yeah. yeah no more ice cream left <laughs> Eyes would turn square from sitting too close to the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mm -hmm. had that one. I wouldn't eat fish, so mum called it sea chicken. <laughs> sea chicken. <laughs> and I fully believed it. Oh no, this is sea chicken, darling. Thought it was <laughs> trickle treating, not trick trickle or treat. Trickle treating, <laughs> yes. Trickle treating. We've got a lot of having the light on in the car being illegal. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That a bear would eat me if I stepped between the pavement cracks. Where are these bears How coming we get from? from? We must be in pavement. the wilderness. Vodka gets you pregnant. Realise as I got older what it meant. Well, it, yeah, definitely. It definitely, definitely could. Could, yeah. could be an instigator. Definitely can. I have my own tooth fairy called Yasmin who wrote <laughs> me glittery notes. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. I might steal that one. Love Yasmin. <laughs> that my straight wavy hair would turn curly overnight if I ate the crusts of my toast. Oh yeah, they oh, did I say got told this one. made your hair curly. Swallowing bubblegum shortened your life. Yeah, you yeah, die. I got told I thought that. you'd die, yeah. That the UK was just an area within America. <laughs> She's put, I'm from the UK. <laughs> <laughs> that teachers slept at school. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> I don't leave this <laughs> I don't know. Oh, 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 we should need to read the dilemma first about the teachers in the classroom. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. Let me just oh. read a few more. Honestly, the most popular one here is having the light on in the car being illegal. Really? I'm trying to think of other ones that I had. I remember as well thinking that like you weren't allowed to drink and drive as in like any liquid. Oh. So I remember being in the car once with my yeah. dad and he was drinking a Coke. I was like, dad, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Not allowed to drink and drive. Oh my God. But I didn't, re didn't realize it was a... Uh Alcohol yeah. substance. Carrots. I also got told this eating carrots means you can see in the dark. Did you get yes. told that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. This must be quite a popular yes. one. Oh, I thought this too. Yeah. I only learned this recently. I say recently, a few mm -hmm. years. Handbags were called handbags. Hand. Handbags. I always said handbag, 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 not realizing handbag. that it was oh, hand, hand bag, not ham. You won't even realize that ham. 
Yeah, I must have been about 18 oh, when I made the connection that, oh, of course, hand, hand. bag. So up but until, I would just say handbag. So up until 18, you'd never written down the word handbag? Apparently not. No. That's I remember crazy. the day when I realized it. Mm. And also, like my, this is what my mum, she always mm. thought it was a dressing down, not a dressing gown. <laughs> Dressing down. Yeah, so I guess you're dressing down. You're dressing down. It makes sense. You're dressing <laughs> yeah. ga down. Gown. It's like this is not a gown. Gown. Yes. Um, it was illegal to have the car windows open on the motorway. <laughs> That's just uncomfortable. Because of old photos being in black and white, I believe that the whole world used to be black and white. Oh yeah, not just the picture. So where did the color come from? Then? If I wasn't in bed before nine o'clock, the nine o'clock horses would come and take me. Horses. Okay. <laughs> the cavalry horses are going to come and take you the away. The cavalry are coming. <laughs> That's quite Aww. a good one. That you only get hiccups when you tell lies. <laughs> <laughs> if I ate seeds of an apple, a tree would grow inside me. Yes, yeah, I, I, I see that as well. That the moon followed me in the car. <laughs> <laughs> the moon is following me. <laughs> the triangle button in the car was an ejector seat. Okay. <laughs> Don't touch that, you'll get ejected. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Babies came from storks. Yeah, I th I genuinely thought Mariana got dropped. I dro I had no idea. You think she got dropped off by the stork? Well, but she, but she was in Mum's belly. But you, you're just you didn't like, make the connection. Yeah, that my rabbit ran away. Ah, uh, wait. So what did they do to it? Kill it? Died. Eat it? No, it just died. Oh, rabbit it's soup. Like the dogs, you know. Oh, we've sent him to go and live on a farm. Rabbit soup. My granddad. My nonno, he would he would kill animals and eat them. <laughs> He'd find rabbits and eat them. Oh wow. All sorts. Wow. Not dogs or cats. Just small. Just other stuff. Just small four legged and friends. For, for a long time I thought my granddad was in the mafia also and that he killed a man. You thought that? Oh well, I was told that. But obviously they were just lying to me. Oh, I wasn't thought the was, truth. I thought he'd killed someone in Italy. I'm sure you told me that before. Yes, and guess <laughs> what? My granddad's done this. Thought he killed someone in Italy and then escaped well, to Nottingham. <laughs> Ran away. Ran away from the mafia. But he maybe wasn't. that was the truth. I don't think he he didn't. I don't, I don't actually know. I thought, God, how does she know that? We'll have to tell her it's a lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I looked at the sun, I'd instantly go blind. Yeah, I was mm. scared to look at the sun for sure. Oh yeah, what was this about? That I was allergic to butter because a buttercup flower oh, yes! glowed we yellow do that under my chin. You like butter? Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? Who the fuck doesn't? <laughs> um, there was a cure for old people. Oh, oh. I thought people lived in lampposts to manually turn them on and off. Oh, little people. <laughs> little borrowers that men pooped out their penis. <laughs> <laughs> Babies came from belly buttons. <laughs> Ooh, poo coming out of a willy. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's just do one more. Uh, but these have been who would very say entertaining. That to Thank you. Oh yeah, they poo out their willies. I don't know. It's a front bottom and a willy. Front bottom and a. Oh well, yeah, because from. Well, I guess it's quite hard to, as a child, to to think that a man has two holes. That <laughs> my dad was a professional footballer. <laughs> 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 that sausages just existed inside pigs. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, it wasn't a pig. Oh. <laughs> Children aren't allowed to watch TV past 9pm. Oh. Honestly, the nine, the nine o'clock horses well, it was for the, me. Because that is something that is so <laughs> specific oh, so that's, and so niche. That's, and that is so believable. It's so famous. It's so scary. Yeah. But, and I always I always yeah. thought as a child, like, if you misbehave, well, my mum often, sorry, Fiona, we would drive to the police station and she would threaten Cam that he was going to leave him there. <laughs> And it'd be like his friend, let's say Morgan. Morgan got taken to the police station last night. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember on the way home from school once driving to the police station. Oh my God. And mum pulling up outside saying, I'll leave you here if you don't behave. My brother was very one. naughty as a child. That's a good one, that. Yeah. And I thought, oh God, yeah, That's she's going to she's gonna, she's gonna go for it. She's going to chuck him out, have That's a night a in the one. cell. Yeah. Sometimes a bit of fear works. Yeah, wonders. strike fear into them. Absolutely. Cash back was free money. I used to do that as well. <laughs> yeah. Any cash back? Oh, well, you're asking, I'll have 50 quid. <laughs> right, okay, are we done here mm -hmm. with the... Uh... Yeah, I liked them. 
Yeah, I enjoyed them as well. I'm try and see if any more are going to come to. But my main one was probably the Turkey Twizzlers. I've never, I've never heard. That. Where was you when I was eating Turkey Twizzlers? I don't Twizzlers know. Then? When were you? Well, did where, we have them at school then? Primary school. No, oh, Mrs. I had Lloyd lunch. lunch. Well, so did I. I had pet lunch. I had fruits. I don't know. And then. cheese strings and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. Pringle sandwich. I wasn't allowed Pringles. And that's what Jess had. <sighs> Jess F. Pringle sandwich. Ugh. Jess F. had the best lunches. She had the best lunches. Pringle sandwich. I was not allowed Pringles. I was only allowed sun crisps. What are they called? Sun bites. Sun bites. <laughs> only sun bites. And a fruit shoot. Oh, that was brilliant. Okay, well, speaking of being younger, being at school, silly things we believed. We Our first dilemma this week, it is a boy talk, I apologise, but we just is couldn't it? resist. Yeah. Oh, this is. This is, I thought, yeah. I thought you meant the episode. Oh, no, sorry. Oh. Okay, buckle up, everybody. This is brilliant. School... I honestly, we could sit here and talk about all the teachers that we had, and just, like, like, what were they all up to? Drinking, and snogging. And you know what? I also really want to know, like, how old were our teachers? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like the younger ones, uh, I, how were they our age now? I think were they twenty five? They were twenty seven. Because I always thought you lot are all like forty. Yeah, because think they graduated at like twenty one, twenty three, twenty two. 22? Right. Then they went straight and got straight a job. Straight into school. Yeah. So they would have been... 25. 26, 27. Wow. Wow. That's, That's mental. Scary. I'm 27. Next couple months away. Well, here we've got school staff room shenanigans. Help. Oh, I got with a colli colleague. <gasps> oh, gosh. I got with a colleague and his girlfriend. Can I accept a permanent job? A threesome. Not in the staff room, surely. A threesome. The story begins in the playground of the school I was working at. Sacred Heart Primary School. My first day, a double take. Mr. Brian with his clipboard was hot. Oh, okay. We keep flirting, taking the mick out of each other, brushing past. Oh, the fact that teachers were flirting with each other is wild. I know, and we had no clue. And, it, and, and then they had to. Oh, my God. God. Uh, don't you think it, that, 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 and they have to refer to each other as Mr. Yeah. Mr. Brian yeah. and Mrs. Williamson. Yeah. Miss Mrs. Sarah. Sorry to disturb your lesson. Mm. I'm just looking for. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry to disturb your lesson, Mr. Brian. <laughs> Listen to what she said okay. here. I'm there bending over with the Pritt stick in the trousers he said he likes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Teachers should not be thinking like this. Oh my God. <gasps> But they're just like us. But, they're but you don't. People. But you don't see them in that way. No, you don't do you? see it in that way. Well, when you're at primary school, especially, you're not aware. No, but even secondary school, you're like, oh, you guys. You're but not there, aware. There must have been right a couple of dates later. Okay, so you guys started dating. Nice. He comes over for a sleepover. Of we had a great time. Mm -hmm. Pretty intense for a girl who usually kicks them out immediately after the deed. Oh. Okay, so we stayed the night. I'm 100% a Samantha, but I was, was was I finally entering my Carrie era? Love it. Okay, she's saying she was so obsessed with him. They slept together a few times. And then he tells me he's also dating another one of the teachers. <sighs> what a loser. Let's call her Sarah. Sarah. I haven't known her long, but mm. I like her and always thought we would mm. end up being good friends. Oh, for context, I'm 24 and he's 32. Okay. No idea how old Sarah is. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was in the competition that she didn't know she was in, <sighs> which I felt really bad about, yeah. but no one was exclusive. And I really liked this guy at this point. Mm -hmm. He then gets a bit hot and cold, flirts one moment, ignores me the next. So I never really know where I stand. Mm. I saw it as we were dating, but then all of a sudden he's avoiding me, being weird, mm. and the odd look or comment would confuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you kind of hit it off. You started regularly sleeping together, and then you're thinking, oh my God, we're kind Couple of dating. Dates. Like he's coming around to my apartment or yeah. my house. Like maybe he's giving me a lift into school here and yeah. there. And then all of a sudden you're thinking, oh, this has got very cold. Well, then he said, oh, I am also dating Sarah. You're thinking, oh, fine, you're an I adult, guess we're not I'm exclusive. an adult. But now he's being hot and cold. And that's the worst thing to get from a man, I think. Hot and coldness. No, it's like, the worst. Like, into you, not into you. Do you even like me? Because it's like... Okay, nothing worse than hot and cold. nothing worse than that. I was only working at the school temporarily as I was leaving to go traveling without a definite return date. Right. Mr. Brian knew this. Mm -hmm. And I can't help but wonder if that's why he kept Sarah on the side. 
Oh. Maybe if I wasn't leaving, things may have turned out differently. Okay. He was supposed to be sending me a school trip letter to edit and send out. Oh, of course. Just just, just school things. But it was late as usual. So yeah. I sent him an email saying, I'm pissed off with you. God, it's not all recorded in the school, school computers. <laughs> the data I'm pissed off with you and not just about the trip letter. Good. Stand, stand your ground. He comes into the office looking a bit sheepish. Good. So it's the Christmas do, also my last day. So many drinks are going around. We are walking on to the next pub. Okay, so we've left the school okay, property. Thank God. Um, and he yeah. comes over asking why I'm annoyed at him. I was like, come on, you've treated me come like on. shit. And he just says, I know, I'm sorry. It's Always just Sarah is obsessed with me. Always a loser, isn't he? You're amazing, but you know, you are going traveling. Always so we're all loser. in the pub and Sarah says for me to come to the loo with her as girls do. Okay. Think, oh my oh God. Oh my God, they're gonna start snuggling the loo. Except she was looking at me a certain way and started unzipping my jumpsuit. <laughs> Things get pretty steamy. <laughs> Things get I love pretty this steamy for in the there. Ladies. And I re-emerged from the toilet with her red lipstick around my mouth. <gasps> and then I said to Brian, not that obsessed with you, is she? <gasps> good. This is the best plot good. twist I ever good. saw come in. Good. Oh, oh my God. God. So do you think Sarah... This is fantastic. What was... Do you I think not Sarah see this knew? Coming? Possibly. So now you've slept with both people in your little love triangle. Yeah. Yeah. Because then she's saying... So but then I see them kissing... That night. I see them kissing that night and honestly, it broke my heart. I know I was playing with fire, but I wasn't expecting to be that upset with seeing them together. Hmm. It's almost like Sarah's thought, do you know what? I'm going to take control of this situation. Yeah. And Make she's my thought, claim. I'm going to... Yeah. God, you crazy teacher. Yeah, you crazy teacher. And she's if gone, only the students knew. <gasps> if only the students knew. Oh my God. Right, okay, right, okay. So we're getting to the crux of the dilemma here. Now I'm traveling and we keep exchanging flirty messages. What, you or Sarah? Yeah, who? Until one day, two months in, I send him a picture of me in a bikini. It must be him. And his response is very different to normal. So I said, I guess Only with that response, you're not single anymore. And he said, yes. I'm having the time of my life out here. I'm thriving and he's with someone else. So okay. why can't I stop thinking about him? Oh, so he's with Sarah now. Okay. But he's still accepting fucking messages from you. Sorry for the ramble. Basically, the school are keen to have me back. But can I oh, go back oh, into I that see. dynamic when I'm not over him and he's with someone else? I'm mm. not even sure if he's even with Sarah because she's just saying someone it else. It could just be someone else, yeah. Oh no, she is with Sarah, I apologize. Having to see them together all the time. Also, he it's said if I came back, he'd be in trouble and wouldn't be able to control himself. He sounds Get like a, a fucking weirdo. He needs Which I would never do, but you know, that would create quite mm. the vibe. I've just never liked someone like this. And there's part of me that just thinks yeah. we'll end up together because we seemed like a really good match. Mm. I know I need to just accept he doesn't want me and move on, but he really did lead me on. And I did have genuine feelings on my side. Yeah. I just can't seem to get him out of my head. Warm regards. P.S. I know you love a pic. <gasps> oh, thank God for that. <laughs> thank God for that. That's him in his suit. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Is that giving teacher vibes? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. See I wouldn't else. say he looks 32, would Me you? Me neither, no. He could be a six former. This is her. You can do better. Gorgeous you teacher vibes. <gasps> no, it's not Sarah, I think this could it? be Sarah. Everyone's wow. gorgeous in this situation, aren't they? Yeah, this is, this is tough. I mean, he's having the time of his life. Oh, is that him? That could be him and Sarah. She's looking at him with love. Mm, that's love in her eyes. Right. I think you need to get angry at this situation. He's just took you for a ride. Would you accept the job? Back at the school. No. Because if I'm- If you've got another offer, I would take me it. Me too, because I'm gonna put myself, like, look, you've took the piss with me, mate. I had feelings for you. You had your chance. Yeah. And you- It was quite exciting. Yeah, but also you didn't take me seriously. You were like, whatever. Playing you, the field. You, you know, like you wanna meet someone. Yeah. And you want them to go, oh my God. 
Oh my God, I don't care if you're traveling. I'm going to wait for you. Yeah. Like, I'll you be here are, when you get back. Woo! Like, not even like any thought of anyone else, right? That's the energy you want when you're looking for your future forever partner, right? Mm. So, fuck him. He, he 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 never took you seriously. He was all over the place. Oh, Sarah, all right, Sarah, Tim was snogging her, snogging you, snogging her, snogging mm. you. And she's snogging you. She's snogging you <laughs> now as well. And she fucking played you as well. Yeah. Sarah, she did what something there. What is going there. on? So what's I, in the orange so juice if at we're this gonna, if we're, what's in the orange juice in this school fucking gin bloody hell bloody hell yeah um, so if we're gonna put ourselves first and move forward and heal and grow from the situation we're not gonna go back yeah cause he's I just mean, gonna I he's think... just gonna, all he's gonna wanna do is cheat this girlfriend have some fun in the gym mm. in, hello in Mrs. the Sarah. room hello <laughs> you know and he's just gonna wanna sleep cupboard. he's just gonna wanna sleep with you again <laughs> the have a bit of excitement and then Sarah's gonna wanna come <laughs> snog you again and it's just gonna be all over the place and then it, 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 and then you're gonna wanna it's leave anyway thrilling. it's thrilling it's a thrill I think if you enjoyed the job the school the pupils the pupils you know then I think you should probably go back like I don't want you to not take a job because of a guy me too that's what I'm saying but if there is another option I just think you know you, you don't deserve my presence ever again you yeah. weirdo but it's also it's such a sleigh to parade around around in front of someone who just doesn't phase you oh yeah if you can because that would destroy if him if you can but she, but she's weak but, but she, she's saying but that she was, there's she's, something she's not there's something about yet. him that it's alluring he's got yeah. the allure he's put a spell on so you so like mm. if you're gonna find that hard it's best to just remove yourself from the situation it's just like with any ex you need to just out of sight out of, out mind. of sight out of mind why are we then gonna revisit it's like knowing your ex is gonna be at a certain gym and then you go into the gym every day to it's sign gonna, up it's gonna end in tears why are we doing that mm. yeah you're right Do you know but 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 yeah it's a sleigh to walk in and go looking Over better than it. ever with your t tan from thailand yeah. you know yeah and going you know above it all but I know he's got that allure. Yeah, he's got that allure. As soon as you're back in that pencil skirt. As soon as you've got those Pritt sticks out. Yeah. As soon as <laughs> you're sealing out. a letter. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he's going to go, Miss Williamson, come over here with those letters. Sealing the letters. <laughs> <laughs> or you're marking you know you're marking that tick crop you yeah. know he's obviously he finds that overly attractive mm. you've got, you got your little, little you got your little out. blue light glasses on <laughs> you've got your fresh fringe you've got the the Maya Jamma Beauty Works fringe <laughs> Why has she got a Maya Jamma Beauty Works fringe? <laughs> no, because she's just come in with a new look, you know. Oh. She's come, you know, been away for six months, new look. <laughs> new woman, new fringe. Blue light glasses. New me. Fresh pencil skirt. Fresh tan. Yeah, and he won't, he, the Aaliyah, he's not going to be able to cope. No, he's not going to be able because to cope. Because obviously he's got a situation, like you were fresh in that school and he pounced straight on you, yeah. right? He's obviously got a thing for fresh meat. What happens meat. when the new, what happens when the substitute teacher comes in for the week? <laughs> it's like Joe, it's like Joey on Love Island, fresh meat, can't mm, control himself, can't, can't control, control himself. himself. So he's thinking he's getting these fresh 25 year old girls coming in. You know, yep. these fresh teachers, freshly trained, mm. you know. Best behavior. You know, never never had a little situation with Staff another colleague. And he's bouncing on it. Mm. Literally. literally. <laughs> wow, that was great. He's literally pouncing <laughs> at the chance. All right, let's move on to an actual girl talk dilemma. Yeah, our advice there would be maybe if you've got if, another offer, if, take it. If we want to be in our healthy, happy, healing, moving on era, find another opportunity but i understand it's very also it's really hard to get school jobs and also a good a school i know you a want good school. to be I know, at I know, you know if you really enjoyed hard. the school because it is really hard because you want to yeah you want to go to a good school where there's good pupils good yeah. environment good headmaster who, who's nice and respectful of, yeah. of the teachers yeah good luck right so i think sarah here has invented a new a new thing She's right coined a new phrase coined a new well i mean yeah so we've all heard of being like, your alarm's on. Why has your alarm got an alarm set? Is it three o'clock? No, 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 you've just got an alarm set up in the top corner. Oh, to post a social clip. Oh. Why as I forget? <laughs> oh, she was in work mode. <laughs> right. We've all heard of being love bombed by a partner, a new romantic partner. What does that look like, Sophia? Um, That's like what teachers do. And yes. Sarah. So what, what, what does that look like then? <laughs> <laughs> when you don't put your hand up I hated yeah. that why are you picking me I ain't got my it's hand nasty, up but it's also, I don't know the answer it's nasty because you know like as a socially anxious you know child you don't want to 
you Stop know, picking me. I'm not bullying. socially anxious, but I just bullying. don't know the answer. It's bullying. <laughs> okay. Sorry, what was the question? Oh. <laughs> so you wasn't paying attention in the first place. I have to repeat the question. Fucking hell, I'll be writing this down for the parents evening. <laughs> does it pay attention? On you have to re ask a question. Love bombing. What does that look like from a partner? <laughs> God, I feel like I'm at school. <laughs> Get it right Love for the Love bombing. Okay, so I think it's zero to 100. Yeah. Over promising, yeah. under delivering. It's a lot very quickly. So a lot of like, words, less actions, but yeah, also still like, a lot of actions. I'm thinking like spoiling you, like yeah. giving you like major princess, like kind of blowing you away, like going above and beyond. And you're like, oh my God, I feel like I've hit the jackpot. What this is, is going life on forever. here? I've never experienced this before. He's falling so hard, so fast. He's obsessed with me. He's calling me all the time. Mm -hmm. He always mm -hmm. wants to see me. And then it's like a switch. And then mm -hmm. it quite quickly, it, Nose dives. Yep. It's all a tactic to get you in, in fa quickly and fast and obsessed with them. And then they slowly introduce the gaslighting, manipulation, nastiness. Or just ghost. Or just get rid, yeah, ghost. But it's mainly a tactic to then just be a, t a awful boyfriend. So, is there such a thing as being love bombed by a friend? We spoke about this a few weeks ago. Oh, have we? This is ringing a bell. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Not for me, it isn't. No. Yeah, we've not had it from a friend ever. Have we not? No, but I, I guess in theory that could happen. Like I could meet a girl at a coffee shop. She'll go, should we go for lunch? Yeah. And then, and then so we go amazing. for lunch and then she's like, oh, I'll pay for lunch. Mm. And then she like brings me like some jelly cats. Here, I'm going yeah. to this workout class on Saturday. Do you want to come? Do you know what? I actually have a trip to Paris. I've got a spare ticket. Would you like to come? You're thinking, fucking hell, all right. Oh, yeah, means yeah. Away. And then they start stealing from you. Uh, asking you for money. There you go. Can I borrow that handbag? Don't get the handbag back. <laughs> yeah, it could work, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Love so, bomb by a friend. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. So love bomb by my friend, question mark, exclamation mark. What is happening? Right, hey girls, I am completely baffled. And so who better to come to than the two girls I listen to every single, Sarah, every oh, single week. Sarah, 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 stop it. That's lovely. I'm hoping you'll be able to give me some insight. For context, I met a girl online in November, but we'd been speaking for a while before that. When we met, we were instantly friends. Our dogs loved each other and Not we saw each dogs. other every single weekend for a good few weeks. That's lovely. Wow. That's so nice. Meeting a so new friend. Nice. You've both got dogs. Who seems like-minded. Yeah. It's like, God, where have you been? Yeah. She came to my birthday meal, my boyfriend's party, wow. met my family and always bought me gifts. Treated me on my birthday, always bought me drinks on nights out because I've just started my own business. Wow, well done, congratulations. congratulations. And so she knows uh, she earns more than me and we were best friends until a month ago. What? Okay, so it was quite intense, quite quickly. She met your friends, Zero to 100. at your birthday, gifts, you know, mm. spoiling you. You think you've met your best friend for life? Yeah. I mean, this is not a long one, all contact stopped. She says she didn't want to do any of our plans coming up and refused to answer my calls. What? So I confronted her about it and asked what I'd done wrong and if she was okay and if there was anything I could do. But she said to stop making it all about me. She's just got other stuff going on. But didn't speak to me about this other stuff. So what could this stuff possibly be? My question is, can you even be love bombed by a friend? Oh my God. I hadn't done anything wrong, but now but now she's not answering my calls or texts, so I can only assume I'm being ghosted by a friend. It's left me questioning everything. What do you think, Sarah? My God, you don't expect that, do you? You've literally been love bombed by a friend. Wow. Right? Wow, yeah, absolutely, definitely. How strange. You've, it was zero to 100 and then There's it was zero again. There's a lot here that you don't know, clearly. About her About also. her. Because that's also the love bombing thing. You don't Platonic know. or romantic. Yeah. You don't really know much about, well, you can't. If it's been a month, how much really can you know about this person? Yeah, you yeah. can know the basics and this and that, yeah. but really like who- Who are you? You don't really like, know. No, and that's exactly what's obviously happened How here. strange. Shit. I'm assuming she, something's turned upside down in her life. Yeah. But then why would she want to cut you out? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And it's a shame because, you know, 
especially with new friends, like your first real bonding moment could be like, you know, coming together, coming confiding. together and confiding in each other. That's how like real relationships are built, right? Yeah. Like when you, f- get, when you first get into a relationship, like your guys' first like kind of bonding moments mm. when something tough happens or when you need to talk about something or, yeah. you know, something's happened in someone's life or you need to get through something. And that's like a real bonding and like- Well, it's one way or the other. Well, yeah, exactly. And it's like how we, you know, and it's like getting through it together is like, the beauty out of it let's take the beauty out of it so the fact that she didn't see you yeah. as a good and uh, as a friend figure to want to mm. confide in and just thought oh i've got to ghost this bitch something is happened sa- that we don't sad know. Actually. it's really sad for it's you really sad yeah. because that's really sad because yeah it's just not what you expect from a friend is it no especially one that was like seemed pretty good all guns blazing yeah i wonder if she's done this before I know, me too. Or I wonder if it literally is just shit's hit the fan in her life. And like she said, it's not about you. This is about me. She's not got the capacity to talk about it. She can't even face talking about it. Yeah. Especially with someone new. She couldn't think of anything worse. Yeah. She may come back in a few months. She you may don't come know. back. You but might then, get an explanation in a few months. But then I would be weary because I'm like, okay, now I can't really trust you. I, yeah, I, I don't know when you're going to up off. and leave. Can I even make plans with you? Like, I mean, are you even going to follow through? Mm. It's not a good friendship trait. Up and leaving. No. At Out the drop of the of blue. No explanation. Right. Yeah. Because it's, it's unsettling. Like, because now you're going to think, but now you're also going to think if anything ever happens in your life, she's not going to be the one you're going to turn to. Mm. Because she didn't value you enough to turn to. I don't know. I know. But it's God, obviously I'm sorry, thing. that's really shocking. It's really shocking. It's that's really not sad. not what you hear about a friend. No, no, not usually. Maybe like a longer term friend. But something would have gone wrong, maybe falling well, out. Well, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. To be so like in your honeymoon phase yeah. and then for it just to... Yeah, <sighs> bizarre. Maybe she got back with but, an old boyfriend. Yeah. It could have been something else. Yeah. I don't think it had anything to do with you. I mean, no, I don't. I mean, I hope she's okay. I know. But yeah, she might well have done this before. But it's not like she was gaining it. It was, it, you know, it's not like she was like using you for something. I like, know. Yeah. Yeah. Lack she of might, closure. Lack of closure massively. Yeah. Maybe just send her a message and say, because obviously you, you, you've, you like her a lot. Like she's a good friend. Just say like, if... Just leave it as like, I'm got here my for number. you if you ever need me. Yeah. But, you know, you've told me to leave you alone. So I, I I'm going to respect do. that. I will respect that. But yeah. you know where I am. Shit. No oh God. This Hello is a there. serious message, I would say. Absolutely. This is a, just, just a brief interruption to, so, the, to the broadcast. There we go. A brief interruption just to merely say, please, please, Simple we beg thing, of though. you to please subscribe. Please subscribe. Once again, that is please subscribe. subscribe. We're trying to hit 100k. It'd be we lovely really to get a plaque. Are, come and you on, know you what? guys are getting us pretty close. Are you guys, you know, we could put it on the wall. We could share it together. We, we celebrate. Could. It would be a team effort. Yes. Yeah, so it'd be just lovely. Please subscribe to the channel. It would mean so much to us and it helps the channel out a lot. It helps the podcast and it's, it's a very quick, simple step. So Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy the rest of the broadcast. <laughs> okay, next that. dilemma. Um, this is hashtag relatable. How do I tell my friend? This is very Sophia and Chintzia coded. This is very Mark Hayhurst coded also. <laughs> How do I tell my friend to stop touching me? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, girls. We can really well, yeah, relate do you know to you what? on we this one. We could find ourselves in this situation when we find a new friend and they want to snuggle in bed. Oh, Lydia's. Well, Lydia, Lydia and Maddie snuggle. Maddie likes to snuggle. Really? Mm, they cuddle. I'd say I'm not sure I'm, I'm going to be able to do that with you, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I can quite have your breath breathing down my neck tonight. Yeah, they, <gasps> they cuddle, snuggle on the sofa, get as close as possible. What? Mm. I go, mm, scooch up a bit. Yeah, and then... <laughs> <laughs> pillow between now. <laughs> How much space do you need? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, your body but, heat. But, but but yeah because i watch vlogs and loads of friends like oh we just want to get in bed have a snuggle what yeah like a well, maybe we're the outsiders no we're true best friends yeah. no it's in like maybe everyone else likes a snuggle but it's just no i see so many tiktoks about it yeah so do i you know but <laughs> everyone fall. each to their own each, each to their, their own. own um so okay. how do you get around this when you've got to communicate it yeah 
because you just gotta put it bluntly because i can imagine to a, a a friend who's used to cuddling all her friends if she then meets a girl oh. who's like get the fuck away from me don't touch me yeah she, because her love language is like cuddling her friends mm. she might then be like oh do you not like do you not, not like understand the, yeah. the, the the it's nothing to do with you it, it's just yeah oh, i operate yeah because people who don't want to be touched can't really relate to people who want to be touched and vice versa yeah but it's like i want to be touched by my boyfriend that's the only person i want to cuddle from right but when it comes to platonic friendships <laughs> you can stay away from a little me. side <laughs> a little pat but i would never pat her <laughs> Okay, I'm part of quite a large friendship group, girls and boys. Okay. But us girls within that have a very close-knit group. One of the girls that I'm quite close to and see a lot has started annoying me quite a bit. We went on a trip, the whole big group. It's like, oh, me going on a trip with Lydia and she wants to get in our bed and sit in the middle. <laughs> yeah, like, she's like, can I get in the middle and what? Fucking stay over there. We have got a lot of room in this room anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's so well, strange know, isn't it yeah i get yeah, because you know who wants but some to people just bring it out of you as well like we can be tactile with other friends i'm not saying cuddling i'm just talking about hugging just a hug and this and that you know who wants to like snuggle me all the time mariana really oh Is she my a snuggler? god she, i'm like get the fuck off me get off me <laughs> oh i just want to cuddle i just want to snuggle <laughs> you i just want to cuddle you oh can i have a cuddle <laughs> Cuddle, you, you fucking jelly cats. Okay, so this girl's annoying her a little bit in <laughs> the group. Or she wants to kiss me on the cheek, kiss me on my arm. She kisses me on my arm. She's like... PDA. <laughs> like, get off me with your little lips. We went on a trip, the whole big group, two weeks ago. Okay. And ever since then, she's been super clingy. <laughs> Always touching me, holding my arm when we're walking. Oh, I'd be like, get off no, me. No, but an arm link is fine. If it's necessary. Yeah. But don't just come up and link my arm if we don't, if but we're in we heels, it's like, oh, yeah, hell. Yeah, we need or support. if we're help, you know. Yeah. When it's cold out. When it's cold, Not yeah. when it's bare arms. <laughs> Disgusting. I need to be in a hoodie. What? Uh, I'm not going skin to skin. Two moist arms going skin to skin. Always putting her hand on me when we're laughing. <laughs> Always grabbing me, <laughs> dragging me, and just in general being super touchy. Right. I have absolutely no idea how to approach this <laughs> and speak to her about it because I feel like I can't say, stop touching me. Because I don't mind, you know, a hug hello, you know, oh, okay. a touch in general. But I feel like she takes it too far. Mm -hmm. We're going on a girl's trip in Greece, just six of us, her Ooh. being one of them. I'm very nervous. She's going to be all over me the whole time and not really allow me to spend time with the other girls. She also has quite a small social battery that dies very quickly. And then she gets into these moods that kind of bring everyone down. Oh. Anyway, how do I approach the trip and her not being too clingy and moody? And how do I approach the touchiness? You, you know what I think this could be? Throw it out there in like a jokey way, but it's like, because you, think you can do that with, I've seen you go, <laughs> You've just kind of got to squirm away from it, Whoa. I think. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go, oh, electric shock. You give me electric shocks. Yeah, but then she's going, can I touch you now? Can <laughs> yeah. I touch you now? What about now? Still get electric shocks? What about now? <laughs> hey, what about now? I'll make it worse. Maybe this uh. could be actually, I'm thinking if you're in quite a big group, and let's say the girls, it's a group of six, maybe this is her trying to find her anchor to this group trying to find her best friend mm. within this group and she's trying to and do maybe that with she's physical touch spotted you and thought mm. you maybe she's trying to make a lot of effort with you mm. really zoning on you like maybe she is trying to find her mini group within mm. the big group mm -hmm. that could be the reason for the yeah intense sort of out of nowhere mm -hmm. attention mm -hmm. effort touching possibly Yep. Oh, she's just touchy feely kind of gal. She obviously she shows is, her love. and that's fine. And a touchy feely person and a non touchy feely person can be friends. Can just, be in harmony. Absolutely, it just needs to be communicated. But I think it's something that's quite funny. It's not something that you need to take personally. Well, exactly. That's why like next you, time it, it can be very humorous. Just go, oh, you know, Sarah, when you touch me sometimes, yeah, get the heebie jeebies. <laughs> like it doesn't need to be deep and serious no. and sit down combo. You can make it quite light and humorous because it is funny. I, and I think maybe just maybe just start a conversation where I go, are you a hugger, Sarah? Oh, you're a hugger, aren't you? Oh, I know you're a hugger. I'm not mm. really a touchy, you see. Yeah. <laughs> 
remember that. Yeah, locker in there. I'm not really a touchy, you see. <laughs> and then, and maybe she'll be like, "Oh shit, mm. yeah, I'm not really one for physical uh, mm. touch, apart from with a lover. I like my own space. Yeah, I like my maybe own then physical she's to kiss you. Because there's honestly, there's nothing worse than in the summertime. Also, grease, thirty degree heat. No, uh, Tap uh, uh, on the shoulder, arm on the fucking. No, t- no, no, t- t- no. Um, this is my personal space. Don't, in, don't I enter think just it. D- drop it in there and she'll respect that. And then if you have to say, yeah, I, I, I'm not, I'm not the biggest toucher. Like mm. I don't, mm. cause you, especially when you're on holiday with people, you, you know, you learn people. So you, yeah. like, you learn how they are yeah. so well. Stay on your own sunbed. Don't come on here. There's no fucking room on here. If you're trying <laughs> to get on this sunbed, then I'm not sure what quite is going on here. I'm going to go find a different oh, one. You know, <laughs> go sit in the pool for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go get some space in the pool. They're just hopping on your back. <laughs> I think just Ooh. just communicate it softly in a jokey way. If she's not yeah. getting it, if she's not getting it when it's a joke, up the ante. Just be like, I don't like touching. <laughs> get the just fuck say off it. Me. You know, just say it. Yeah, and she's your friend. Laugh about it. Laugh it off. I think you can make it quite humorous. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's awkward. Don't let it get too deep. Like, don't let it annoy you and frustrate you. Like, just try and keep it. I know, but I know for some people it's like overstimulation. It's like they yeah. can't. Like, it's it's actually like, don't touch me. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. yeah. If it's constant, like a hug, hi, and a hug, bye. I like we do that too with other people. Yeah, but like, um, but yeah, like constant. Like, if it's even hand holding, like. Good luck on the trip to Greece. Good. I mean, have fun in Greece. I'm jealous. Definitely Tzatziki, make sure you share in a room with someone pita else. Pita bread, thermos latte. Oh my God. Halloumi, gyros, Slovakia. Mm. Oh, that's going to be a good time. That's honestly my favorite cuisine. Right, everyone. Eyes and ears alert for this one. My friend is sleeping with my friend who is engaged to my friend. Oh. Am I a bad friend? Help. God, how many times do you... One, how many friends two, you three, got? four, four. So my friend... Is sleeping with my friend. You're sleeping with one of my friends. Who's engaged? Who is engaged to my other friend? Got it. So am I a bad friend? Because I know what's going on. You're engaged. La la la. How do I go about this? Right. Tell his old. Please time. help me in caps locks. Hi girlies, the time has finally come forth for me to ask for your help. <laughs> she, roll she up, didn't, roll up. She didn't say come forth, but it just sounded good. Um, this has been troubling me for some time now and I've had enough. Good. There's nothing worse sometimes than being in the middle of a situation that it's uh, just, I've not done anything here, but I'm, I'm in the I'm middle. I'm guilty and by association. But then sometimes that can be even more exhausting. Yeah. There's a lot of context here and I'm going to keep this as anonymous as possible. I'll leave out specific details as you never know who might be listening. <laughs> you never know. It's very, you never know. <laughs> That's Brilliant. very smart. Well done. Please bear with me. It's going to be a long one. Okay. All right, buckle up. So here's the first half of the context. Five years ago. God, casting our minds back. Whilst I was with my ex, let's let's call him Greg. Greg is the ex. I became friends with a couple who he was close with. Let's call them Steve and Susan. We did plenty of things together as a group. So picture it, Sarah, Greg, Steve and Susan having a great time five Mm -hmm. years ago. Couples days. Yeah, we did plenty of things together as a group and I always got along with them so well. Greg, my boyfriend, often told me stories about the multiple times that Steve had been unfaithful. Now, here we go. But had me promise not to tell Susan. Oh, I mean, come on. Come on. It's really tough when you give me such information like that. Don't tell. It's so selfish to tell me that. Because like now... She, you've introduced me to her and I've hung out with her about six or seven times. Like, she's a I friend like of mine her. now. Yeah. I've she messaged me on Instagram. We text. Mm, yeah. And now am I going to have to lie to her? Because you've decided to tell me. I'd rather just not know. <sighs> yeah, no. But then I understand Greg might want to talk to it about with someone, you know, he might want to get it off his chest. Talk about it with Steve. Yeah. So I can see how that happens. It's, it's yeah. very, and because also you're thinking, well, my loyalty is with my boyfriend. Yeah, and he, I, I only know this couple through my boyfriend. And These Greg, are his mates. Yeah, he said as he did not want to ruin his friendship with Steve. So obviously yeah. his loyalty is obviously just lied with Steve. I get it, but when me and Greg broke up, I lost contact with Steve and Susan. Yeah, naturally, mm-hmm. no bad blood. You know, if I ever bumped into them, we would be friendly. But they were always closer to Greg than to me, so it was understandable. Yeah. yeah. Now, context part two. So that was context part one. 
Um, when me and Greg broke up, I ended up rebounding onto a boy who I had met through work. He seemed nice. I enjoyed speaking to him and things progressed to a few casual nights spent around his place. Mm. We had fun. It was never going to be anything more than that. That's, that's what was perfect for me at the time. Nice. He told me that a few months before we began speaking that he'd broken up with his girlfriend, let's call her Sarah. After me, so the guy you rebound with had just broken up with his girlfriend called Sarah. After meeting up with him a couple of times, it was brought to my attention that he had lied to me and had never even broken up with Sarah. Oh, brilliant. And wow. was just having me over on the nights she wasn't there. <gasps> Didn't see that one coming. Cheating pig. I was mortified. As you can imagine, I felt so bad for what I had done and could not live with it. I had to get in contact with you Sarah. You keep falling guilty by association, yeah, don't you, you yeah, poor thing? Yeah. Because now it's like, God, so now I've been the other one, but I didn't even know. Yeah. Yeah, so she got in contact with Sarah. Nice. I sent Sarah a message explaining what had happened, full details, as I felt she deserved to know. I apologized multiple times and told her if I could offer her any other information, of course I would. At the time, I didn't even expect to reply. All I expected was to have to think, to think the worst of me and not want anything to, to do with me. To my surprise, I got a very friendly message back and found out I was not the first girl he had cheated on her with. Oh, oh God. So this is a nice instance of girls sticking together. It's like yeah. I had to look out for her, needed to, te to tell her. She it's decided- very easy to tell her because you don't know her. Yeah. She decided to stay with him and give him yet another chance. Ugh. He did not deserve that, that's for sure. Until a year later, she found out he had been... Ha what, is so, like, what is wrong with men sometimes? I don't know. The audacities. Come on. Until a year later, she found out he had been having a full-on affair with an older woman for the entire year. What? what Finally. What is the psychology behind like, it? Like, why are you treating your girlfriend with such disrespect? They just... It's because also it doesn't help that... Sh that that he had cheated on her before and she had got back with him. Yeah. He's thinking, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. That's why yeah. you can never take back a cheater because they're going to always think that they can get away with it. Mm. And then they take it to another extreme. This happened, it was going on for a year. Mm. Finally, she called it quits and put herself first. Good. Good. Because also these cheating escapades are only exciting because he's a sing he's yeah. in a relationship. As soon as he's yeah. actually a single guy, yeah. Or well now he's just asleep. It's yeah. not as the thrills not yeah, there for exactly. him. Yeah, exactly. Fast forward to now, Sarah and I have ended up working together, and we have become the best of friends. Oh, wow. that's lovely. Small world. Doing small world. We must. Yeah, doing plenty of things together outside of work. We really, really value each other. Okay. I'm so glad I was honest with her and took the risk of telling her the truth back in the day. We work in a very niche industry, the type where everyone knows everyone and secrets don't keep easily. Ooh, Ooh bloody hell. Along working with each secrets other. Secrets don't stay buried around here. Yeah. Him. Along working with each other, we also work with Steve. I get along with the two of them very well. The most out of any of my other colleagues. I've always picked up on Steve being quite flirty with the girls at work, including Sarah. Hmm. And this has always reminded me of the stories Greg would tell me of him being disloyal. Okay, so you're kind of seeing yeah. him out. Yeah. Apart from his, you know, girlfriend and you're seeing how, okay. I would feel for Susan and wish that he treated her better. Okay. Currently, Steve- So he's still with Susan yeah. by sounds sound. Currently, things. Steve and Susan are engaged. <sighs> and two years ago, had a baby together. Oh my God. <gasps> oh. Now, finally, here comes the dilemma. Okay, thank you for the backstory. We needed that, that context. Nice. That Around was important. a month ago, Sarah brought it to my attention that Steve's flirting had been getting a lot more intense and that she was also reciprocating it. Oh, God. Does Sarah not know he's got an engaged? She's a I father. think she does. She obviously knows he's engaged to Susan. They've had a baby. But I guess at the end of the day, she's single. Mm. I don't know. She's entertaining it. Yeah, she's she's reciprocating it. They would message outside of work and he would always delete them as to not let Susan oh. find out and it became suspicious. Oh my God. But then Susan knows. I mean, no, Susan doesn't know. Susan does Susan's never known. You would think that Sarah, having been cheated on herself, would not want to touch him with a barge pole. to be with in, someone who's cheating. Yeah, yeah. 
Then one day, I mean, I guess, you know, there were, there's just been flirting and messages to start with. Yeah. Then one day, Sarah told me that before work, he had gone to visit her at her house oh and they God. had sex. Before oh my God. Work. Before Bloody hell, work. that was an early alarm. That was an early alarm. Before work. I was so shocked. Yeah, because it's also disappointing from Sarah. That's it's, what I mean. Also, it it's, is disappointing. It's like, you know, we're we're friends with Steve, you know, you know, I was friends with Susan. Mm. Let's just not get involved. Yeah. Like it's surprising. Especially from with Sarah. what Sarah's been through. Yeah, they had sex. I was shocked. She yeah. said that he had told her that he and Susan were very unhappy and had come to a mutual decision to split up but weren't rushing it as they need to think of their child. He's just lying no, through his teeth. Lie. That's what they say, don't they? That's what they say. Oh, we, we are broken up. Mm, we're very lying. unhappy. He's lying. Yeah. So that's probably how he lured Sarah in. So She started feeling sorry for him. And you think, oh, he's been unhappy She convinced years. herself that they weren't together. Yeah. But really, Susan's none the wiser. Yeah, she's just at home with the and baby. And Susan and Greg had sex last night. <laughs> oh then he got gosh. up at 6 a.m. went to have sex with Sarah. A few days after this, he completely changed his tune and told Sarah that he and Susan were going to make it work between them. Of course, he just wanted to get in Sarah's fucking pants yeah. and then all of a sudden his fucking tunes changed. Yeah. Taylor's old as time. Shit. And told Sarah that he and Susan were going to make it work between them for the benefit oh of their child. God. Understandably, Sarah felt crap. She felt used. Yeah. Yeah, she was used. She was, she was completely used. She was lied to, manipulated and used mm. by Greg. That was his whole little challenge to begin with, mm. wasn't it? Yeah. He's disgusting. Um, she felt used and also felt bad for what she'd done with Steve. We spoke it through and I said that ideally she should tell Susan what had happened. But she and Steve were trying to make things work for the benefit of their family. She was not going to say anything to ruin that. Because you're thinking there are kids involved in this instance. She's thinking, let Susan have her ignorance is bliss. Yeah. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. Oh, she was not going to say anything to ruin that. With this, Steve completely cut Sarah off. He didn't speak to her at work, didn't even look at her in, in look in her direction. I helped Sarah through this because it did make her quite upset. Mm. Yeah, because you were like buds, you know? Yeah. So we decided to list all of the bad things about him. Good. To help her get the ick and forget about him. And believe me, it was a long, long list. Mm, yeah. This worked. Also, I thought, oh my God. After a couple of weeks, Steve apologized to Sarah for his actions and said that he wanted to be civil as to not make things awkward for, or suspicious at work. What? I told Sarah, just Greg, f just leave us alone. Yeah, like fuck off. you've caused enough fucking hurt. Yeah, like fuck off. you've caused enough drama. Like leave us alone. I told Sarah I thought it was a good idea, and to just make sure he didn't try to sweet talk her again, as he is the type of guy to think with his penis. Yeah, mm. for sure. She did not take my advice. They have been nonstop flirting, <gasps> sneaking off during work and kissing. Oh my, oh my God. God, it's all going again. And are back to secretly messaging outside of work. I told Sarah that enough is enough and she needs to be more respectful of Susan as it's not fair for her to be treated this way. No, yeah. I pointed, oh God, yeah, this is awful. I pointed out that, out that she was heartbroken when she was cheated on. Yeah, it's like, yeah. remember how you felt, Sarah? Yeah, you're doing this to someone else right now. And told her to imagine how worse it would feel if she was engaged to the guy and had a baby with him. Mm. I suggested it was time to get in contact with Susan and come clean. Mm. And compared it to the situation of how we met and how, in the end, it turned out well. Yeah. Yeah, she was adamant that the two situations were very different and that she had no responsibility to tell Susan anything had ever happened. Wow. This made it's a very me... surprising attitude from her. She's under Greg's spell. That's all it can be described as. Steve, yeah. Greg. I thought Greg was her ex boyfriend. Steve's. Shit, Steve. I keep saying fuck off, Greg, don't I? I think I did as well at one <laughs> okay. point. Okay. Steve. <laughs> fuck off, Steve. Yeah. What did I say? Slimy Steve. Yeah, Steve. I said it's surprising. It's a surprising stance from so, Sarah. Yes. Considering yeah. that she has Fuck off Steve hand yeah. experience. Yeah. No, that's why I said she's under Steve's spell. She's under Steve's Sorry. spell. Sorry, she's like, he's completely 
yeah you, you, I, when you're under that love bug under that love spell like yeah. honestly it's really hard to break free you can't see the right and wrong when you're like under someone's when you're in love with someone or well, you're believing what you're being told because you want to yes. believe it you yes. know steve saying yes. like we're so yes. unhappy you know i yes. thought he could be saying oh i've seen messages on susan's phone yes. she's messaging some guy like you don't know what so lies he yeah. is feeding her that's making yeah. her feel better about cheating yeah. with this guy yeah uh, so this made me very angry as I don't agree with these kind of situations at all. They just don't sit well on my mind. And being the only person that fully knew the truth, I was very anxious about keeping it a secret. However, soon enough, people at work began to have their suspicions. Good. Mm. So the truth always comes out. Always comes out. And rumors began. The rumor, the truth spread to Susan. So Susan Good. found out. Or well, the rumor has. Um, so as any normal girl would, she began to dig. She never found much on his phone um, as he'd been so hot on dele deleting everything. But she did find a reply Steve had sent to a friend's post of Sarah. He replied to the photo of Sarah with the drooling emoji. And that was enough to, co to confirm the rumor. Yeah, that, yeah, in, that is all disrespectful enough. As I said before, we work in a niche industry and it's very close knit. Susan was at work the next day and she just so happens to work with my Brian. Oh, so you've got a new Brian. Bloody Lovely. hell, everyone's. So we must all be in, yeah, mm. what industry are we in? A few weeks ago, she went up to Brian, bawling her eyes out, absolutely hysterical over what she had pieced together. She knew that I was Brian's girlfriend, so she thought he would be the best person to confide in. Yeah, because she liked yeah. you. Yeah as if anyone would know anything about the situation, it would be me. Of course, Brian has known everything the whole time. He's my oh, boyfriend who I trust very much. He consoled her and told her if she really is this unhappy, then she needs to have a serious chat with Steve mm. as it is time to put herself first. He rang me as Susan, as, as Susan, as soon as Susan had spoken to him and we were stuck on what to do. We eventually decided you it wasn't- You guys, right in the thick of it. I know. We eventually decided it wasn't our place to tell and that the truth always comes out in the end. I mean, it, it kind of has. My Brian was then accused by Sarah of telling Susan the truth. Mm. Sarah, like... Sarah, pipe down now. It, it, but it is the truth. It like, is the it's truth. It's come out now. Yeah. You were snogging in the office. Yeah. There's cameras everywhere. There's people all over the place. Yeah. People all over you the know, place. You know, what do you... You know, Sarah, and you, you can't... Just, just yeah. it's happened. It's, you've had your fun. Yeah. Take accountability for your actions. And if Steve wants to be with you, he's going to be with you. That's what you want. I was really upset and quite angry that she just accused Brian without even asking first. Yeah. Brian and I this had- This is your mess. Don't bring my yes. boyfriend into it. Brian and I had a bit of an argument with her and then resolved it. And she understood that he played no part in Susan finding out the truth. Okay, so she's just all over the place. Mm. Sarah then decided that in her eyes, the best thing, best thing to, do, to do is deny, deny, deny. Sarah, Sarah, let's just let it out. I know yeah. you want to, Sarah, just let it out. I disagreed and I tried to help her see sense, but I got nowhere. So she made me swear to have their back. Oh, I would really struck. Sorry, I know we're almost. Getting I'm to the being end of a this. good friend. That's what I did. So she kept kept them. I would really struggle to be friends with this person. Well, yeah, because you know, if this was Sophia in the situation, I'd say it's time. I'd say it's just simply time. Yeah, like I understand. But also, like, I'm not fond of Steve at all. Right. Why am I going to try and protect you and Steve? Yeah. You're in you're in this awful relationship with Steve where he's used you, lied to you, manipulated you, whatever, got you under his spell. He's got a child. He's got a fiance. Mm. Yeah. It, and now Let's you're wanting me to lie for you two to... No, it's happening now. I know. It's like, it's like tough love at this point. Yeah, it is. It'd be like, I'd be like, sorry, it's come out now. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on the phone to Susan right As now. As we speak. I've got her on speed dial. Yeah, like... Like you, ha she's got to take account. Like take yeah. accountability. Actions have consequences. You, we're not in yeah. Sims here. You can't just go around doing shit. Like I know. this is real life, and you're moving crazy, wild. So two weeks ago, we went to an event, and everyone we work with was there. I went with Sarah and Brian and some of his friends and we bumped into another group which included Steve and Susan. Mm. We all hung out together, had some <sighs> drinks and chatted. After, I mean, this is inevitable, isn't it? Drinks and chatting. Mm -mm. After a while, it was just Sarah, Susan and I. Oh my God. Sarah, Susan and I. The oh three girls. God. I was so worried about how it might go. Fiance. 
mistress <laughs> yeah and shit the, the, the mate susan then shows she needed to get something off her chest go on susan whilst trembling she looked terrified go on susan be go brave. on susan be i was brave. sat in dread of what was about to happen expecting a full-blown cat fight to break out shockingly she said to susan that she was so sorry she ever accused her of sleeping with her fiance and asked her to forgive her my heart oh my god my heart broke for the... Do you mean she said to Sarah? No, I think Susan said, I'm sorry I accused you. Like she's believed... She's taught... So she's Susan made herself, said to Sarah, I'm sorry. Yeah, like I know you didn't do it and it was just rumours and I'm sorry that I accused you. The way Steve... Oh my God. ...can get around a woman's brain and like make her believe anything is obscene. That's obscene. It's obscene. How could, you, how could Sarah sit there and accept that apology well yeah look my heart broke for that poor girl sarah had been been that convincing with her facade <sighs> susan actually believed that she was the one going nuts oh my god the next thing i knew i was helping sarah confirm to her that nothing had ever happened <gasps> oh and now god. i feel terrible i wish i'd never said a word since then we have found out that steve has slept with another girl Sarah, I mean, of course, Sarah, no one's Sarah so was obviously angry as he'd been lying to her, telling her mm. how much he struggles to resist her. And she, she was all for sleeping together again. Steve just can't keep it in his pants. He can't, can he? No. He's just, he's been doing this for years. This is, this he's is been just doing this for years. Is. So please help. She has told me that in the future, if she has the chance to sleep with him again, she will do it. Fuck. Oh my God. I'd be cutting this girl out. As she enjoys his company, me too. I think. But then they what? work together, Sophia. At this point, they're literally that. She sees her every day, and Steve's there every day. It's hard to cut around. It's like she's yeah, there. Yeah, but I would stop being friends. Yeah. Like I would say to her, Sarah. This behavior is. I can't. I can't be friends with you anymore because I don't agree with your decisions. I don't support your decisions. I'm not. You know, I'm not judging you, but also low key, I kind of am. Like, how can you keep doing this? And also, inevitably, you're dragging me into this. And it's, I have no respect for your decisions right now. And I can't be a friend to you because, like, don't text me, don't call me. I don't agree with oh, what no. you're doing. You know, at first, I, you know, I had sympathy for you. You had been cheated on. You, you, I, you, I don't know. Like, I think I couldn't be friends with someone like this. It's too much. Like you have, you, oh, like you were trying to be such a good friend, and it's just you were it's trying got to do the right this. thing. You just you found yourself in the yeah. middle of this web, and it's just like God. Everyone seems to know everyone. We all sort of work very close by, and like I just like, and also you've you've watched. I couldn't watch another girl say to Chintz. Let's say Chintz was cheating with whatever. Another girl said. I'm so sorry I accused you. Because I would be so afraid of how, I'd be like, you're too good of a liar. I can't, like, you've convinced, you've manipulated this woman to think that she's going crazy. And that is terrifying. But also, what's also crazy, in that instance where it was just the three of us, right? And Susan was, let's say, coming to me and going, I'm so sorry I've accused her. I'd go, look, how, how, how can you not go? It was true. It happened. He's a pig. You need to leave. Because she wants to be with him. She wants it to keep but going. But they're not even actively sleeping together. They're not even like, she said, like they're not, oh, like no. he slept with, sleeping with other girls. It's not even like he's promised her, I'm going to be with her. No, it's not. It's like, know. let's just tell this poor, poor woman. woman I know. The truth. If I were you, I'd be going to Sarah. No, sorry. I'd be cutting off. I'd be saying to Sarah, I'm not your mate anymore. Well, yeah, because she's saying, I can't look. Be. I can't be your friend anymore. Yeah, I'm she's sorry. just been, look, she's saying it. I just don't know what to do. You know, and I'm then I'd say to Susan, you're not going mad. It's all true. I know. Like, it's worse than you Well, even she know. said, look, I, d I don't want to be friends with someone who's got morals like this. Right. She's the last person I, I, w ha I, I would have thought to choose to act this way given right. the past she's had. I feel just so heartbroken for Susan. All I want is for her to, for her to know the truth and do the best, best for herself and leave him. I feel that I can't be the one to tell her as it will ruin my friendship with Sarah and I will be hated. I can't expect Brian to tell, tell her as I absolutely do not want to throw him under the bus. Yeah, this is not his business. I can't wait for the truth to come out because nobody else even knows help. God. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but I think I would tell her. I'd have to. Do, do you know what you could do? Because also it's it, it's for the good. Or you could say to it's Steve. For the, it's for the good of your friend. It's 
the greater good. It's for the greater good and for the good of your like friend Sarah in the long run. Mm. I'd say to Sarah, look, you've got a week. You need to tell her the truth. Mm. Ask to meet up with her. her. Go for a coffee because you're obviously on good terms right now. Yeah, she's apologized. Go to for you. a coffee. Like, you've got a week because you might be able to live with the guilt of doing this, but I can't even live for the guilt of knowing it. Mm. And otherwise, I'm going to tell her. So Is maybe she- that's the way you go about it. Just get it out. But like, sorry, Sarah. As your friend, mm. as one of Tough your best love. friends, you are going to hate me right now, but you need to get this out in the open. Like this cannot go on. No. Like I feel sick thinking about it. Like it makes me... It knocks me sick yeah. knowing that I'm in the middle of this and poor Susan has got a baby, right? Right. She needs to know. Because now she's going home to to set, to to fucking Steve. Yeah, Greg, Steve. Thinking, Gre- fucking, Steve. thinking the world of him going, I'm, you know, like, oh, loving no. all on him because- Before they get married. Before they, before she buys a wedding dress, please. Mm. Before she pays for a dress. I mean, he's got a lot of problems. He He's is not, not equipped in any sort of headspace to be, to be a monogamous man. He is not equipped to be a husband. Jesus Christ. <sighs> so God, really in the middle I of think that. like if this was her, I'd go, look, you've got a week. Tell her, just tell her, please. Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Get it over with it. We'll be over. Yeah. Tell her, let her move on. We'll move on. Steve can move on. Done. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be years. These things God, go on That was years. a big one. Don't they so? Yeah. Years and years and years. Years and years. You are doing it for the best. It's the best thing for everyone. They just don't feel like it is at the moment. But well, it is. Sarah just Sarah just sounds like she just wants to sleep with him again. Yeah. Um, Steve just has got this God complex where he thinks he can up. treat women it like this. To, it needs to all come out now. Mm. Yep. We can't keep like harboring this environment and letting this still well go. sarah knows that now no one in the workplace is ever going to think she's a trustworthy person at all mm. because the way she's lied to everyone she's convinced, convinced. everyone but like sometimes these things you just got to face the music sometimes right the time has come literally bloody god hell, bloody god. hell okay last dilemma here relatively short help is she a new bestie or does she hate me? I mean, is that kind of similar to the love bombing friend? Because it's like, did you just secretly hate me? And just wanted Maybe. To, you know, it's like, do, do you even like me? Me and my boyfriend yeah. have been together for four years. Congrats. He has a very tight knit group of friends. Mm-hmm. So naturally the girlfriends have all become close too. We nice. go for meals together, each other's birthdays we celebrate, and yeah. even going on one of their Hindus. Nice. That's lovely. All the girls are so lovely, but one girl in particular is giving major red flags. Okay. And I'm just not sure what to do. Okay. So you've known these girls for four years, I'm assuming, your whole relationship. So they're your boyfriends, roundabout. friends, girlfriends, but you know, it's like we're all having You're a nice a group. time. Yeah. Yeah. When we're alone, she's so lovely, really thoughtful, Mm -hmm. always makes an effort with me, and we have so much in common. Yep. Brackets, I live pretty far from my friends, so it's nice to have her near where Mm -hmm. I live. Yeah. But when we meet in a group setting, she started making fun of me, putting me down to make the group laugh. I'm pretty ditzy sometimes, but that is my personality. But it's getting to the point where I really feel like she's embarrassing me on purpose. I have called her out on this multiple times and the only thing she says is that she didn't mean it like that and she gets upset and apologizes, but it keeps happening. Mm. It makes me feel so small and I found myself not wearing certain things or being cautious of what I even say in case she picks up on it and starts making me the butt of the joke. Where's your boyfriend? Maybe this is just a girl hangout. Right, right. It sounds like they're they're, they're quite a friendship group. Friendship group. We went out for my birthday the other month and she started laughing at the way I said something. Uh, My boyfriend and his best friend jumped to my defense and told her, stop talking to her like that. Good. So it's not even just me who's noticed. Good. Well, that's good. So they're noticing like, that's no joke. Yeah, we don't speak, we're not like that friendship group. Yeah, you can say it's a joke, but like that was no no joke because look, people are jumping to my defense. Yeah. Yeah. I go away with the girls soon. I'm so nervous about how to approach this and what to say to her. I don't want to fall out with her or make anything Mm. awkward for the group and my boyfriend, but I can't just sit back. Mm. Here are some photos of me and my boyfriend. Oh, and this is the girl. Which one is who? The blonde girl is the mean one. Oh, scary. She look, I mean, oh fucking hell yeah, a model couple, couple we have i mean everyone was um, beautiful but th- that's really scary behavior i mean she's jealous of you she secretly hates you yes it's strange that she's so nice to you one-on-one though yeah because she's what got is it about to, the group setting she's got nothing to like she wants to be the superior 
Picture like animals in the wild. Okay, we're in nature, rainforest cafe. You know, it's go. like they. You know, the, it's like you want to be the on, dominant one. Yeah, like isn't that not what animals do? Yeah, like the, marking their territory. You know, yeah. Sh- and she she's threatened by you. She's she she feels your confidence, your beauty, your mm. your sureness of yourself, your relationship, and sh- all she can do is put Try you down put you to down. make herself feel better. That's all, that, she's panicking. But why do you say why it like that? She's so oh, nice so, to you. That's so strange. Because it, it's a gr- It's when it's they're a in a group thing. setting, it's like, she wants to feel like, I don't know, she wants to feel better about herself in the group situation. Yes, yeah, she's probably, she probably likes hanging out with you. You're probably fine when it's yeah. just the two of you. But when it's- a, it, Maybe she can see that you're very well liked in the group. I think that's what it is. It's and like, she wants to be the most liked. Yeah, like, am I popular in this group? Where do mm. I stand in the I- hierarchy? Maybe um, you came in later than her and she feels like, how have you got go. closer when I've already been here for there a year before you were here? She probably sees you just like slot right in, have easy conversations, mm. getting along with people. You know, you're exuding beauty. Like you're, and it's you're, not quite you're obviously right. exuding like a, an incredible energy where it's just like, I'm just confident. I'm sure of yeah, who I am. I'm just here for a good time. And she's thinking that girl there, mm. I'm jealous of her. I need take to take her down a few to pegs. Take her down a few pegs. So, yeah. oh, she said, oh, wh- <laughs> why'd you say it like that? You know, and I think it's great that the boy, your boyfriend and some guy, whoever was there, like called her out at the time when they heard it. But that, the c- that gives you assurance, right? I'm not going fucking mad. And other people have heard that. And also I think she that would have embarrassed her. Yes. To be called out like that, especially yes. by the boys in the group. Yes. It's just, it's just, so that's great when you're in the group setting with the boys, but we're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. You got to Now we're going to stand up for ourselves. Definitely. So the next time she goes, ooh. You're shut up, Sarah. What are those Not trousers? No, I like these, Sarah. Shut up. Yeah, just don't entertain just it. Just don't entertain it. Don't laugh shut about it, it. Don't giggle about it. Don't like take it as a joke. Go, oh, not no, today less of like, that, please. stand up he's like she will shit herself she won't do it again she will shut it down so let's say what and she is there do, anyone else she in doing? the group she's making she's making, making fun comments. of what about she'll say something and she'll go ooh, 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 ooh. just trying to twist the joke snap on back her. at her like snap back at her not in like a jokey way like don't turn it in. just literally shut her down mm. like just and then she'll go <laughs> ooh I'm used to Ooh, being able that. to um, walk all over, walk all over you. Mm. And, and, and the moment she realizes that she can't, and I know you, you know, you don't, you know, it's not your personality. Yeah, because it's, it's tricky. Like, it's tricky, right? But it's like no, we. It's like it's literally like we're lions in the wild. Now we've got to go. Rah! Yeah, get the claws out. Be like, no, you can't fucking talk to me like that. Shut yeah. up. Like we can have a nice time when you're not trying to put me down. Like let's yeah. just have a nice time. And then or she, she might you mellow could, out. You could go something like, oh, shut up, Sarah. Jealousy doesn't suit you. <laughs> Keep it very short, sweet. And she'll go, oh. Yeah, because that's what it is. She got. I mean, that would be short and sweet. Short, sweet. You've nipped in the bud. I've seen through your bullshit. Mm. I know you're trying to put me down. I, you know, I've read you like a book. Yeah. I've Back read to you. Cover to cover. Cover to cover. I know mm. what you're trying. So jealousy doesn't fucking suit you. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you you need to say something and she'll... Is there anyone else in the group that you're quite close with the... that you can sort of confide in about this? Just so someone's like, you know, someone's got your back. Well, I imagine that Sarah is probably quite larger than life quite within dominant the, group, in the group. And I probably think she's probably got closer with someone or yeah. she's probably... That's might be a way where she was threatened by you because you maybe you threatened, came in and made solid friendships, and you maybe threatened her like leadership Dynamic. role in the in the girls or something. That's mm. usually when it comes out. So she's like, I maybe she's to- the longest standing girlfriend. You know, she's got the crown. She's threatened by you, and so she probably does have some like besties. So I don't Possibly. know if that if we're there yet to be able to go, oh, have you noticed this behavior from- Yeah, you might not. But she's been with him for four years. But she yeah, definitely is. Yeah, I mean, if there's one, 100% go, did you see when she said that about- Yeah, and also it's just like, try and not let one person, like you've got a lovely thing going mm. on here. Mm. Like you've got amazing girl friendships here mm. that you've got through your man. Like mm. try not to let one person like ruin this mm. for you because- you almost like don't give other satisfaction of like yeah you've not it, bothered me like shut just shut up shut like up. 
don't yeah. write, I don't know, there's a, there's a, it's, you either go two ways, right? Like you either like snap back, be bold, be very confident, like give a taste of our own medicine and give it right back and mm. say, shut the fuck up, blah, 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 blah. Or you go the other way that's just like, didn't even notice, unfazed. Like that's mm. gonna then, I don't know, but is that she gonna encourage to, us to do it even more? I think so. Cause she, she, she likes making the comments and knowing that she's yeah, being able to make the comments. Slowly away. So she needs to be like shut down. Like I do think when your boyfriend said, oh, shut up, don't speak to her like that. That yeah. definitely made made her think but then she's thinking okay well i won't do it for any boyfriend but when, you, when, when we're in the girls i'm gonna be doing it mm. so this is now unless Time. someone else is gonna go oi sarah fucking shut up don't yeah. say shit like that we're yeah. all friends here yeah you need to go oi babe do jealousy yourself. don't look good that oi i like mm. these trousers so what <laughs> so what these are my favorites these are my favorites and what just because yeah. you can pull them off, Sarah, doesn't mean I can't. There we go. Just because you can pull them off. Mm. Yeah, just you need to. And then she she will learn, oh shit, I can't treat it like that anymore. Because she's embarrassing me when she snaps back. You need to come back with exactly. some good things. Because she's getting embarrassed. Because then she's going to stop doing it. Because she's going to think, oh, she's going to say something all back a group now. It's thing. Like she wants to get the laughs. Like mm. she wants to go, oh, look at her fucking trousers. Mm. And everyone goes, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and you're the butt of the joke. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you need to, like, Get some comebacks. Shut her, get, shut her down. Get some snappy comebacks yeah, and then everyone, in the backlog. So then everyone in the group will go, Ooh. And then she's going to be too scared to say something because she's going to think, oh, what, she's going to, you know, try and flip it back on her so it yeah, shuts her like, down. You need to shut her down. Just go, come on, let's have a nice, like, yeah. don't, don't be mean. Just yeah. say, oh, don't be mean. For what? Why, why be mean have for? Have a nice time. Because it's like, yeah, we're on holiday. You're being mean to me. Yeah. Like, just let her we're know. Like, grown You're being mean. Mm snap back don't take it don't laugh it off because she'll think oh i can keep making these fun jokes she no has been for a while it ain't a joke mm. i ain't laughing we ain't laughing yeah <sighs> she God, wants, i feel like we've had quite a heavy episode she's today, trying folks. to be the what's the what's the female word for alpha yeah i know the you know the head female the queen the, bee the, the, there we go the queen, the queen bee, bee the yeah, the queen bee in, in, in the hive. Yeah, in the hive. And it's like, look, I, I'm not competing for your spot as queen bee, babes. Mm. Just don't be nasty to me. Let's get a quote. I feel like we've- We uh, need some wisdom. Mm. This is kind of good. I will not water myself down to make me more digestible for you. It's a good one. Because, you know, she was saying I was wearing other things. Yeah. I wasn't saying uh, specific things. I was I was, I was, was acting a certain way around her to avoid the comments. Mm -hmm. So it's like, no, I'm going to be who I am. Yeah. And you're not going to talk to me like that anymore. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. And with that, guys, thank you so much for listening. If you would like an extra episode of the pod, we have bonus episodes every single Monday over on Patreon. Woo! There's also a big group chat over there. Woo! We're also getting some of you guys to come and visit the studio Yay! and watch us record. So there's lots of fun things happening over on Patreon if you want to be a part of it. Um, email dilemmas to hello at thegirlsbathroom.com. Yes, please. And follow us on Instagram at thegirlsbathroom, on TikTok at thegirlsbathroom, on YouTube. Woohoo. Love ya. If you're in the group chat, we'll see you Yay! on Monday. If not, we'll see you back here next Wednesday. Yay. Love you. Have Goodbye. a good week. Goodbye. Bye.